Of course, let's start by making three to five layers of paper mache in our head molder. Make size of regular head cap. Gently pry the paper mache to take it off. Check my video on how to make a headstand or head molder if you want to make one. We will now draw the helmet pattern and cut the excess part. We will call this top section. I cut 4.5 by 19.5 inch illustration board, or you can use cardboard if you want. This measurement already has allowance just in case. We will call this middle section. This will make things easier when attaching the middle section to upper section. This will also minimize alignment damage to your props. If you don't know how to make illustration board or cardboard curve, I will show you my hidden no jutsu. The more you do this, the more it curves. Attach the middle section to the upper section using hot glue. We will put it over the top section. Draw the helmet outline. This will depend on the size of your head. Cut the excess part. We will do the same thing and call it lower section. To make the fins, I first did a prototype using a paper so I can easily adjust the size I want. You can also see the estimate end result when doing this. Do not throw the prototype yet, we will use it later. I don't know what kind of shape is this hahaha, <laughs> but here is the final shape. Trace it on illustration board or cardboard, then cut it. We will now make the effect of the middle section is under the top section while the prototype fins is still attached. We will add a layer of cardboard in this part. The width of the cardboard should be equal to 2 to 3 layer of illustration board. Make the height of the cardboard small so that it will not be seen later on. Remove the prototype fins and attach the cardboard using hot glue. We will do this on the top layer and second layer. We will now cover it with a one layer of illustration board to make the over the under effect. Attach it using hot glue. It should look like this. Back to the fins. After transferring and cutting it on cardboard, make it a little curve. Of course, before attaching it with hot glue, do not forget to put an alignment mark. Do 
not forget to put hot glue under to make it stronger. We will now cover the big hole on the fins seam with two layer of paper mache. After that we will smoothen the over the under and thin seams using formula Y. Okay, so after it dried like stone, this is what it should look like. That's going to be a rough surface, so we're going to sand it. We have smoothened it out, but the next problem is, there's going to be pores, because we're still not using a 100% powderized paper mache clay, so we're going to cover it up with one layer of paper mache, and that will solve the problem. The next step after it dries is to add details. It's up to you if you want to do this. But before we mold the details, we should put something that will lock the helmet to our head. Again, it is up to you whether you use high-end material or low-cost material. For me, I will use a fabric and sew it on the helmet and put Velcro at the end of the fabric. To hide the stitch, just cover with paper mache. After that we are now ready for the hard part, the details nya ha 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 ha. Got about the top fin, ya ha ha ha. This is what it should look like. Now repeat the steps that we did after the formula Y dries up.
I added hot glue to the fabric to stick even more. Ta-da, we have now Kaiju number 8 helmet. The next step is up to you if you want to do it. This is acrylic emulsion gloss. It will make the acrylic paint glossy and protect it from damage. One layer is enough because two layer will make it look like glass. This is the final product, but I may upgrade it in the future together with the mask. <laughs>